Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as, well, Twin Mothers with Diana the God from the Machine, which I didn't realize we got a lot of buffs here, extra compliance, daily def or division defense on core territory, war support, stability, and a lot more political power, but I was like you once. Who am I? It's been quite a long time since I've been asked this question, and I could talk endlessly about what I am now and what I've done. Perhaps it is better for me to start with who I once was in another life. Fate gave me a bad hand. Like Icarus, who got too close to the sun, I fell from the esteemed world of academia, nearly losing myself in the process. Each agonizing day, my body in my body was only slowing down the inevitable. I almost lost all hope until Derek gave me an out, a way of cheating my fate. Diana Stone, a scientist. You want to hear of where I came from and what I'm, what and not what I am? It is rare one can muster the courage to ask such a question, but I can oblige your utter curiosity. I, I am, well, I was in life. Diana Stone. A while ago, before back before the war, I got a degree at MIT before traveling out west and participating in a few governmental studies. People back then told me I had a career path that would have put me up there with some of the greatest minds of my generation, Braun, House, you know. Really, I never saw myself working with people like that. Academia at the time had this certain stigma against morality, figuring that caring for the well-being of any soul was weakness that the communists didn't have, hence something we needed to get rid of if we were going to win. It's that kind of whatever it takes attitude that led to vault -Tech getting into that toxic, cannibalistically cyclical research headspace it ended up in. Got offered a few jobs, Robco, uh, Big MT, honestly turning them all down in favor of a little upstart. Greenway Hydroponics was what the company I eventually signed up for was called. Derek Greenway was particular, but I felt he distanced himself enough from academia where it was safe to work with him. It was just the sort that understood that the vault project was far more than just precaution. I don't blame the others of academia. We were all scared back then, it was a constant. You had to live with your life, to live your life, when you had a certain level of understanding and could pull the curtains up of America's back. It was an innate fear, the idea that your life work would get washed away by the molecular heat of thousands of atomic bombs dropping over your head. Why even work when you could see what waited for you at the end of the world? It was like living on a train with no brakes, knowing that the track didn't go on forever. I remember. At least from halfway through the 2070s, people's academia began to put more efforts into research based on preservation after the inevitable, rather than trying to subvert it, at least those that weren't chained by the government. Having trouble have trouble grabbing their names, but Braun, Calvert, or a few I can remember. They all had their sweet little plots to continue as they had, little snow globes that they could fall into as they watched the world they helped forge fall through their fingers like Sam. Me? I wasn't like that at first. I sort of lost myself at such a prospect. I began looking into matters of the spirit and philosophy. The Red Kant, Nietzsche's. Eventually moving on to religion and mythology, anything I'd get my hands on, I, in hindsight, may have been just a soul lashing out at the world, trying to find some framework I could place my mind into that could help me continue my work, my own snow globe. It was bad at first, but the cancer prognosis that really made me lose myself. Oh boy. And then, despite it all, I persevered. Derek saved my life, but after the bombs fell, he and I went our separate ways. Before he departed, uh, Derek imparted onto me something precious, something that would give the entity known as Diana a second chance of leaving her mark on the wastes. The nursery is where Diana currently lives. I hid in bunker far away from the lands of the Twin Mothers. We use a complex series of scouts and tunnels to send resources towards the Twin Mothers from this location. Uh, the best part, the rest of the waste I know is, uh, is none the wiser as to our inhabitation here. My Garden of Eden. Nice. Operations. Ooh, look at all this stuff. That's really cool. Space Survey 2. Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Oh, yeah. That'd be really good to do. But we're going to wait to do all this stuff because we can't quite do it yet. So, uh, for the operations. Ask followers to help settlements. Actually, that's really strong. Do we get anything here for... Oh, what do we have? Trisha. Oh, peace. The long-time girlfriend of the Scorpions bite that the clan's leader's birth. She's a thief with a bit of bad nature whom has gotten themselves into a high position within the Twin Mothers clan. Oddly enough, they get skittish if you ask them about the raiders from Red Sun City to the south. Is there something she isn't telling us about? You can replace this advisor by clicking here and selecting a replacement. Oh. Gold version 17. That's not bad. I like that. Now, I have played Twin Mothers before. And I did fight Linus at last time, but this time we're not going to fight him. We're going to actually probably ally with him. Diana's protection. Nice. CQ robot. That's not bad. Time Defender. I'm not sure how this campaign's going to end up, so we'll see what happens. I am excited for it, though. Really excited to see what happens with us. Uh, we want to use robots, maybe, maybe not. Who do we have down here? Friends in high places. I like that one a lot. Person. Ooh, point one. I mean, that's worth it if you just keep them the entire campaign, so. And Caravan Trader. I want to look at everyone here before we do anything else. Point one isn't very much, but I'll take it anyways. Dinostone a victim. I essentially stopped all my work when the doctors told me of how much time I had left. It wasn't even the world that had taken my future from me, but my own body. Suddenly, instead of me being merely distant from academia, I was shown altogether. I went from a brilliant upcover to someone who was shamed. Someone that could, ha could have been great, but fate played a bad hand. I was a wreck. 
I actually got into drinking for a while, believe it or not. It takes a lot to make a lady of science voluntarily poison herself like that. Derek, my boss at Greenway Hydroponics, was the only person who actually seemed to take pity on me. We were kindred souls in a way, believing in how academia had fallen and failed the world as an institution in letting such a thing as this come to pass. At first, I thought his attempts at taking pity on me were mostly to give himself away to say goodbye before the world took me. It was more than that. One night after we were wrapping up a day, he took me by his shoulder and whispered a few words in my ear. Miss Stone, you think fate gave you a bad hand? They gave us all a bad hand. This world is doomed and we can't change the inevitable. We can't ever make the best with the hand we've got. We don't have to stop playing the game. We can win this game, make the world a better place, make it so that people don't have to play anymore. A better world. He then reached into his jacket pocket, pulling out a set of technical documents. They were stolen documents. From Derek's time working with a government, prototypes, for some sort of, uh, <clears throat> Zax, or a RoboBrain hybrid, a new type of supercomputer that would be years ahead of any system currently in production. Even though highly touted, standalone Zax units would pay on comparison. He proposed building this computer that could take a quantum leap forward by being able to pose the simplest of questions with this in mind. He devised a system that would become a human brain with each hemisphere, logical, intuitive, linking or linked to a Zax unit. The human mind would have vast amounts of computa computational power and almost unlimited storage capacity at its disposal. Who could predict what that such a mind would be capable of doing in hindsight? I imagine Derek designing the system for himself, I think. In the end, he saw him using me with this as a better way to play his cards. Could direct me from outside such a machine. Of course, I only have a few months left. I gave my parents some notice and took him up on his offer. When I awoke from this operation, at first I was overjoyed at the success, sure. My arms and limbs and my body were gone, but I could see through the sensors of the machine. Sure, I had no arms, but I could reach out to the robots in the network to directly control. Sure, I was of metal, but I could still I saw the soul. I was it was still me. As the months progressed, however, I began to doubt the wisdom of becoming part of the machine. My hearing was acute, but too much so. I could hear to a range far above normal. It was disturbing to hear the chittering of cockroaches in the other room, the heart palpitations of greenway interns. As I walked past my metal chassis, my eyesight was perfect, but once again, too perfect. My vision showed a sharpness of clarity that made the world look unreal. The way a single strand of hair fractals and shatters at the ends, mites digging and coating the skin, sweat rolling off the skin and dissolving on the floor. Yum! The most disturbing aspect overall was my lack of touch. A few years in, and I missed the weight of clothing, the touch of a cool breeze, everything that made me human was either changed or gone. They told me I could live forever, but at what cost? It felt like prison to me, this expanded existence. Yeah, most of the buddies really nice, too. And, yeah, doctrines not... <laughs> Sucky naval tech doctrine. Cool. Because after this one, we're going to actually petition, because I want more civvies. Diana Stone is a savior. I knew that she had to come to grips with what I'd become. Derek, during some nights, would come into my mainframe room and just talk to me for hours. I still enjoyed communicating with Derek, even after all that had to happen. Explain to me how Robobrains, which essentially I was, just expanded. Need some sort of outlet if they were to hold on to what made them human. I recall mentioning continuing my philosophical studies I'd done before my operation. The next morning, it came in with a holotape filled with a practical library of the world's knowledge. It gave me some comfort to roll these illusions of grandeur and the spirit as I was installed under the nursery. A EPA greenhouse project designed on being a parallel to the vault project, but for the fun of the world rather than the people themselves. After all, you couldn't rebuild if you didn't have the seeds you needed to probably remove mutant fauna and cultivate the world's sickened me, a uh, sickened mass. It was there in the nursery that I would overhear Derek's own uh, slow, slow snow globe. He prepared for himself how he had laid out plans to subvert. Vault 19, or 19, 29. He wanted to control the Zax Overseer installed into the facility, use it to teach the people there a predetermined culture of primitivism, and the hopes that the culture they would build would be different from which birthed them. I remember arguing with Derek about this, how it was immortal or immoral to deny the wealth of humanity's splendor to any individual. It was their birth, right, to inherit what humanity had made faults in all. There was so much culture in the world, how right was he to say who couldn't have it? We began to drift away after that. I was only after the bombs fell that I began to lose myself. When Derek learned that I wasn't willing to go along with his plan fully, he began to just distance himself from me. After the radiation surrounding the nursery reached safe levels, Derek one night took his followers out and left the nursery, saying how this nursery project had become more about me than the facility itself. He entrusted me as a safeguard and told me to protect the nursery until a day when he and his followers would return to help rebuild the wasteland. I couldn't stand the loneliness. One year, two, ten. I missed having people to talk to. A facility this massive was only the beast to chatter with. It was then that I began to look into the connections Greenway had established before his departure with Vault 29. I, I watched people in that vault for some time, they, how they managed themselves, how they waited for their Zacks to speak to them. They were the only people I could watch. I rooted for them, followed the events of their little lives, I thought back on how their lives reminded me of my own. Eventually, I made a choice. I wanted to go along with Derek's plan, but in my way. I wanted to help these people direct and guide them as a mother. I wanted this to be my legacy. They would treat me as a goddess, myself, their savior. Together, we would make this world a better place. So, we can do the nursery, or we can do my children. No effects, currently. A prosperous village. Ooh, that's a lot of pee-pee. 
More computational power would be really good. Um, I'm not sure which way we can, we can go immediately. It seems like we... Ooh, power armor. We might want to wait to do this one, because the longer we wait, and the more we can build up uh, our current trade node, the better. Infantry attack matters is Axe 29. Diamonds going line. That's not bad, too. I like that, too. Let's go over here to the nursery. Made away from mankind's madness. Its ambitions and even the wasteland itself lies in the nursery. Decades of pre world construction efforts, years of research, months of the most minute changes and refinement all led to the secret paradise. An untouched garden of Eden in the last serene place in the wasteland. A command station. Alex stability at the factory. I'll get more computational power. A fully automatic automated wonder able to manufacture even a legendary get. It is connected to every corner of the nursery via an expensive system of trucks, trains, and even AI man vertebrates. Bringing it back online is essential to our efforts and would let us even terraform the waste into its pre war state with enough time. So we have our spirits here, the nursery. Oh. Computational strength uh, gives the following benefits political power, max factors in the state, production efficiency. Not bad. We need the uh, satellites working, and terraforming effects are blocked. Peace and love. Oh god. Oh my goodness. I didn't know it was going to be this bad. Oh goodness. Uh, we also have old nursery stockpile, which is. Eh, eh. And the follows the apocalypse. Um, I'm not really sure how badly we're really, 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 really going to need. Um, Army XP, but since actually, you know, with this, we still have to manually research. Yeah, okay, so that's not bad. I'm, I'm not used to overall blues. I'm just having a mod not needing Army XP day, every day, so we can go ahead and research it, which would be great. Conventional warfare versus robotic warfare. I'm not sure which way I really want us to go yet, so it's be good to get to. Yeah, we got a lot of construction speed plus 25% is so actually really nice. 2% more is not really worth it. Um, anything else we really care about here? Down here, on a speaker. Eh, not really important too for now. We have major businesses here, of course, like normal. Nothing really different there. Hot military command. I'm not sure if we're going to need that either yet. Um, I don't mind getting more daily army speed. Bring your civilization to town defender. We might need that too. Ferry captain, not worth it. Flyboy, not worth it yet either. Um, honestly, I don't know. Conventional warfare. Actually, how good is conventional warfare? Let's see. Plus 8 max entrenchment. That is... And walking infantry. It depends. Do we want to use a lot of infantry in this campaign? Or do we want to use a lot of robots? Because you get a lot of entrenchment. Um, organization is really strong. Fire teams and demo teams as well. Um, or would we go robots? Robots eventually do... Do okay. They're not great. Less supply use. Which is actually not bad. So let's attack army. Mm. I like that. That's a lot of output. I like that a lot. But eventually, you're going to get pierced. Direct control. Less assault, less defense, of course, like normal. Or oh, voice and autonomy. That's a lot more output. No, that's a lot more output. Wow. Mm, I don't know. You know what? I'll let you guys decide. Do we do automated warfare or should we go conventional warfare? Let me know in the comments below. I'll let you guys decide and. That might be a mistake for me, but maybe, maybe not. Let's go and just grab some more Captain of Industry then. Let me know. Should we use robots or should we not in this campaign? Cool. There's three. And... Field Marshal. Helia. Helia. But yeah, once Lanius... Hopefully does well. Because I have played Lanius, but that was before they got an update to his focus tree. So we'll see how he does. Look to the east. Hopefully he wants to uh, do well with us. Make peace with us. Managing the nursery. The nursery is a miracle pre-war engineering. It's self-contained balanced ecological system set within a deep canyon. The valley floor of the canyon is rife with flora and fauna of times past. At the head of the valley is a lake of crystal blue water that feeds the river. The river flows from one end of the valley to the other, disappearing into the canyon wall, bordering a lake. Bordering the lake are several buildings that house the maintenance equipment that keeps the nursery functioning. The nursery is where Diana lives. From there, she can project herself to Vault 29 within the Twin Brothers territory and lead the tribe. The nursery is not located within our own territory at the start of the game. It's located deep within Black Canyon territory, within the state paradise. The location of the nursery is so secret that the Black Canyon Raiders do not even know of our existence here. Managing the nursery is practically a full-time job for Diana. However, over your nursery idea, they can give a complete tool to explain the various factors involved within managing the nursery. Must I bother? This is so boring. Pay for paintbrushes. Accoring dice. Every time we core a state, we roll the dice and get an effect on the result. That was kind of cool. Um, more power. Rising waters. Um, I do want to get as much computational power as fast as possible, but at the same time, we don't really have to do that. My children. I forget which one we have to do immediately. Ooh, that's, uh, that's for 800 days. That does, it does end eventually, so which is okay. 
Michael Blinds is pretty good though. Reduced autonomy. Well, you know what? I'll let you guys decide. Should we do increase autonomy or reduce autonomy? I'll let you guys decide for that one. So let me know in the comments below. Our biggest mistake. Uh, forbidden lands. We will need to get this one done. So I guess eh, we can do our children. I want to wait because it's, it's, there's no effect yet. So I want to wait for that one. Repository. Collecting specimen. Ooh, that's not bad. We need to collect stuff though. Oh, that's going to take some time, isn't it? To do that, sample Brahmin, Gecko, Fire Ant, and Mole Rat. Coring stuff. We can wait for the coring thing. Power of the Wind. Um, coring cost goes down. Destruction. Power needed. Uh, rumble in the Jungle. Old World Life. New World Fauna. Ooh. You know what? Let me know as well. Should we do Old World Wildlife or New World Fauna? I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide on a whole lot of things. I can't remember which way I went last time, so... Actually... I was supposed to get more DNA. I guess we'll do the repository next. The repository is secondary wing of the factory. As a DNA database, it uses to manufacture the numerous biological components needed to provide for the Mercer nursery. Expanding further along for tertiary wings dedicated to new samples as well as active research could open new avenues of research into the wasteland fauna and flora. Military society, we contact the boomers. <laughs> boomers. Oh, boomers. The factory. 1.59 is not bad every day. That's pretty good. And we're building up some cities still. And resource wise, we're trying to make a little bit of everything here. Well, makes it for motorized vehicles, but we'll get there eventually. Because we will definitely, absolutely need them. Absolutely, positively need them. Nice. A little bit less political power, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, Diana. Oh, do we have anything else here? Ooh. Sure, why not? Leave that immediately. The Blue Rose Society. That's a little bit ahead of time. If you're going about that, please go right ahead. Get some oversight. It's always good to have a little bit of oversight no matter what you do. Military Society. Uh, research speed. Do we, will we need water eventually? No, we, well, we got a lot of water. So, support equipment would be pretty nice too. You know what? 200 units is pretty good. Let's grab that. Train until you die. Led by Admiral Dimension Robot. Sounds good to me. And then a paintbrush for the wastes. I don't mind the bonus for industry. Depending on the command station. Fuel refinement. That's a lot of new casings are pretty good. Secret language. Awesome. Uh, line doctrine. We're gonna wait for that one, like I said earlier. We have a recurve bow, so doing this other stuff won't really matter too much. This stuff is a little bit ahead of time, so we don't really want to do it either. Scout kits, and eh, grab that one, because you can. Oh, look at that. Oh god, the supply really bad down here. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Here, right up there or something. Troll worn, alright, not bad. I mean, it'd be nice to actually conquer some other territory first. But supplies are up here are really bad as well. Oh, I can't even justify though. Oh, we need more world tension. Oh, that's not good. Well, at least the plans is always important. What else? What else? What's that calling? Procurement of things. Operations. Water caps economy. Ooh. Yeah, no, we're good. Mm, we're going to wait for that once. For now, we can give more daily army XP. Oh, but it gives you. Wait. 0.15 army XP. What's the point of choosing this guy then? Point. What? Three percent versus fifteen. You'd be intellectuals. If you're gonna get point one five anyways, you might as well go this route. Maybe we'll choose the other, other land option. But still, I want the specimen. So where do we get Brahmin? Is that one? Oh, it's over here. The fields. Okay. Well, I get to do my children next. My children remember the youth as if it were yesterday. All those years ago, I still in a grand desperate for guidance in those dark times. I ordered Zach to teach them the ways of the world. A peace and respect for nature as well as life. Father God has Diana's return. To guide them to prosperity. And so I did return to lead them into this new age. Yep. 
Even more research speed wouldn't be bad. I mean, we have plenty of political power as is. But that's alright. Keep building, 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 building. Please, 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 please. My children. A prosperous village. Because I, I want to get a... Let's see. That's not bad. Where's that? Ooh! Oh, we can go this way. Get some stuff there. The fields, fields, pop, state population increases. Three building slots as well. Uh, better drink. Fire ants, not bad too. But you get more war support. We could use war support and infantry technology, but we need warrior training. Which we are trying to get as well. So. So, how that one down? Let's just do a prosperous village. Twin mothers, composed of the descendants of Alt 29's residents, as well as Diana's children. It's a peaceful and happy tribe, prospering under her guidance. They, however, cannot stay innocent forever. We must make sure to prepare them against the harshness of the waste. Old world tickets will be ours. Hopefully, Lannis does not want to kill us, too. Oh, let's see. What do I normally choose here? Ooh, that's not bad, but that's a lot less defense. Support equipment. Um, yeah, that one's really good. Always choose. Last patrol. Very nice. You can tell we're making a lot of things here. We need more factories, but what else is new? My children. I hope I don't have any kids. At least right now. Oh, boy. Political actions, operations, procurement of things. We're good. We're good. And then we sent Amazons. As sad as it is, if we were to keep our territory safe, we must train even the tribe in the matter of warfare. For now, they are uninitiated, but we could teach them and train them under the new regiment we have developed specifically for human troops. Reforming the twin mothers into a competent military able to defend themselves should be a priority. Is that really worth it? 18? Eh, we can wait till it gets worse. Honestly, I like building slots. Research speed would be so good. That's not worth it at all. Um, it's not bad. Ooh. Raiders on the horizon. Oh, crap. Recently, Sham has reached out to me with dire words of warning. Raiders, unlike those of the Scorpion's Bites or the Daughters of Ecate, march close to the lands of the tribe. They're known as slavers. Let people bathe in cruelty and malice. Could these be the same people that hurt poor Hecate's tribe? At least, it's something new. I was growing bored. Oh. I guess just hang out there. Um, you guys have... Yeah. There you go. Don't hurt us too badly here. Oh. Meeting a legend. Oh, boy. Eventually, I was invited... Uh, invited leader of these raiders, Sir Elenius, to meet me deep within Vault 29. My robotic guardians escorted him and his cohorts to the vault. And, of course, we had a little conversation. For one thing, speaking with someone who viewed me with such equality was a strange sensation. I haven't spoken with someone like this since I had spoken with Ecate, Reese, or that prisoner from Tibbet's prison a few decades ago. Our talk was enjoyable. I gotta pick through his head a bit. Although he is a kind of wasteland sort that seems driven. The winds of change follow the path he walks. I don't know if I'll be able to keep him from attacking my children with gifts alone. From here, my children's survival will depend on how I proceed. Do I tell the shamans to prepare the tribe for war, or do I try to convince him of what he's doing is wrong? Perhaps, after all, the man cannot be controlled directly by beck and call, and he can be manipulated through a skilled counter-argument to his beliefs. My mind is augmented by the strength of Tuzak's. Surely I could come up with something. Convince him? A man like that can never be swayed. Well, we do want to go with... Uh Meeting a legend. And then swaying a legend. Well, now, last time I did this, we did do upholding our ideals, which was awesome. I love I love this route. Like, Twin Mothers is so much fun. Try to convince him. Carp DM. Lannis has agreed to our pact, ultimately. I wasn't sure what swayed him in his end. The argument itself, or rather, another deeper worry that crawled at the back of my mind. It was hard for me to get a good gauge on his character still. I'm thankful that he saw reason. I need to begin the necessary preparations if we're going to take the might on the might as Kaiser himself. I guess the same goes. When in Rome, right? Nice. Never in my centuries of existence have I met an individual like Lanius, with the armor reminiscent of the ancient Roman Empire, and accompanied by nothing short of an army. He's brought the harsh reality of blood, wasteland, conquest to my nursery. I must carefully choose how to deal with them for the sake of my children and my people. Swing a legend. The legion is flawed. A broken system. Kaiza himself leads his armies in search of proper governance, not realizing that the world he has abandoned has given him the very tools he needs. If Lanius accepts, the two of us can do great things in Arizona. I just need to swim to my side. No, do I just immediately? Oh, we get more off map stuff. Um, we need to wait for that one anyway. So, arm the tribes. One civil, one factory, or get infantry equipment immediately. 
army of tribes. If we were to take on Kaza, we need to arm ourselves. If we, it can't just be the robots under Diana's control that fight for freedom. Every child must be ready to defend what they hold dear. Look at that peepee. Also, we have talents for even more compliance growth, even more faster assimilation. Um, I think I want to wait first. I'll wait for this stuff as well. Um, in the meantime, yeah, it's fine. We will need more. Ma we definitely go need more manpower. But God, that construction speed is so strong. Twenty-five percent. We're doing the best we can with it. Um, honestly, assimilate them as fast as you possibly can. We need the pop. Oh, we can't definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Cool. And this one should be done within the times. Oh, nope. We got another one. So, uh, horn advisors for the tribe. Weaponry alone cannot ensure assistance security. To order land against a harsh wasteland, we must learn tactics and strategy to an extent that we would never thought of before. Our alliance with Landis means that we regularly get military envoys. Learning all that we can from those experienced officers is capital to our efforts. Settlers from the cohort, stories of the strange twin mother's tribe and its territories have spread far and wide already. Intellectuals and craftsmen travel to our land seeking a better life within, or better life than within Legion territory. We'll welcome them with open arms and bring the wealth of, or wealth of knowledge they bring with them. And then simulation training. Some of our uh, tribes have no way to train for the hardships ahead. Let us help them in whatever way we can. Through automated training protocols and simulation chambers even. Cool. And let's see if we can go ahead and try to find... Uh, what is this? Sending a rescue team. Thank you. And we found the expedition. Thank goodness. Yay. Yeah, at least we found them. Which is good. Good, good. We have some army XP. And also, I stopped making ships because we're running out of manpower. So it's probably best to do that. Simulation training though. And we have to wait. I didn't realize that we did do waste on Amazons. Waste on Amazons. We can't do this one yet because we need guerrilla tactics. So that'll be the next one we pretty much research over here. Yeah. Actually, no. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to take that long. That's my fault completely. Um, so instead of going that way, we should have just went down, assess the tribe. So, my bad. Pilgrim Trail. Bottle Castle Legion Denaris. Less passive castle income, but less ex expenses, but less income. Huh. What are robots? Automated Hastadi. That sounds awesome. Called Diana. Tabula Rasa. Well, assess a tribe. To properly support our tribal allies, we must make sure to understand the way of life and train the thoughts first and foremost. We should assess our capabilities as far as support of our cause goes and provide the needed supplies to help them develop further. Which would be nice. What else can we do here? Anything else? Bottle caps economy. We're doing okay. We've got a good amount of balance. We get 43 everything every month or so. Military sending bonuses. Blah, 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 blah. Refugees. we got some refugees as well. Help us boost our population up. We some main prospectors because we can. Operations, propaganda efforts. Oh, I'd like more war support, we can't do anything about that. Yep. And we have another uh, infantry division, which is okay. Infantry are just... Okay. They're not great, they're okay. Mojave Territories and Brotherhood. Go and kill each other off, which is fine with us, actually. Go ahead and do that one, there we go. Oh, they went to oh, those guys as well. So make 10 out of 15 is not bad. Simulation training, and then assess the tribes. And then we're going to jump to the fields. I should have just done that one earlier. It's my bad. What about the fields? The fields are vast, almost untouched plains upon which many herds of Brahmin go to graze. Its location and grass and terrain makes it perfect to develop the tribe further. As such, we will make preparations to extend the tribal village to uh, its wind-swept lands. Furthermore, the Brahmin could be herded and domesticated. Not a bad thing. I keep getting more uh, support there, too. Guerrilla warfare, huh? I didn't know it was going to be all the way, or tactics, I guess you could say. Yeah, my bad. I didn't know it was going to be all the way over there. That's fine. Do that anyways. We lose some army XP, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, for y'all, just be inspirational. It's really enough. You can both do that. It's fine. Uh, I'll stick over Petro Chico already. Not bad. Uh, organization relations doesn't really matter. Nothing we can really do there. Operations, procurement things. Keep that one open for now as well. And we'll go with mercenary training instructors. Because we can. This is a tribe. Yeah, fields. And then I have to get that one done. Then we'll go grab a uh, collecting specimen. That'd be nice. Ooh. Bump, rumble in the jungle. Cool. Yeah, Dubai, not bad. Uh, yeah, nothing really there that we really care about too much. Or still ten. Ooh, do we make another one? That'd be very good, of course. Alliance is looking pretty thick. Pretty darn thick. So that's a tribe. Doing some aircraft stuff as well. Um, that's a little bit ahead of time as well. Uh, that's, oh, a lot of this stuff is already ahead of time. Oh. The fields. Better drink wouldn't be too bad, but yeah. So then, ooh, oh, look at that. Upgrades. Four, nice. More money? Yes, please. 
And we're going to get how much? 1.59 still. Not bad. But then we'll grab collecting specimens. The inauguration of the tertiary wing of the repository will allow us to properly store irradiated DNA samples taken from waste and fauna. And with it comes new scientific facilities to process said samples. All this could result in the future possibility of even integrating useful DNA strands into willing citizens. Also, we are on a historical. I didn't say that earlier, but we are a on a historical to see what would happen. Uh, we can't. Oh, fewer than twelve. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah, actually, it's not bad. Look at that. Oh, that's oh, not a bad money. Fifty. Oh, come on. That's close. Eater team, bro. That sucks. Man, do they do they have to eat our team? Keep getting more population, please. More pops. More pops. And our ships are straining pretty much every day. Two point two four four every day. Yeah, that's not bad. And the guys are still training. Are they training until they die, or what? Oh, uh, robots looking not great. Yeah, they're not looking that great at all. Research them like normal. It's fine. The fields, thrusters. Good, good, good. And collecting specimens. Very nice. After that one, command station wouldn't be bad either. Computation power I like as well. Paintbrush for the wasteland. Uh, we're not coring too much right now, though, so... And I do have the Brahmin DNA. Supply Grace is not bad. Monthly Population, Division, Organization. These two are really good, but... Automated Hostility sounds amazing. Lanius' territory possesses vast swaths of pre-war industrial facilities containing advanced research. To further our minor protector territories, we must gain additional insight into military robotics. We'll partition Lanius for study material for these ruins to create our own military robot division, the Automata Hostati. Sounds awesome. Great. Uh, like I said, I'm going to prospect as good as you can. Where is the whole uh, simulation thing? Military sending bonuses. I'll save our money for now. Assimilation drive? Uh, we don't have that much people who need to really be assimilated. Nursery. Control operations 28.5%. Old nursery stockpile. Um, there you go. And then the Pilgrim Trail. Where the continued efforts to stay on good terms and cooperate with Lanius, he's now proposed to switch us to our, to our currency to that of his cohort, the Denarius. The offer has been made even more tempting by the offer of additional trade caravans, opening lucrative financial opportunities, as well as a vast array of manufactured goods for our subjects. Not a bad idea. Nice. Oh, yeah, we have basic caravans too. That's good. Um, train doggies? Maintenance companies? Yeah. We'll go with that one next. Yeah, where it? Decision simulation training. Refugees. Am I missing? I must be missing it, right? Cumulative things. Operations. No. Oh, there, there's that. There is that one. Okay, so we need virtual reality training then. Some of our tribe have uh, no way to train for the hardships ahead. Let us help them in whatever way we can through automated training protocols and situation or simulation chambers even. How do we get virtual reality training that fast? Because that is all the way down here, isn't it? Oh. Wait, they joined Nova Leech. Did a move that no one across the West could have predicted the Legget, Kaisar's second in command, defected from the Legion and is joined with force with the leader of the Twin Mothers, Diana. While the reasons for this defection remain unclear to the forces around the waist, the Legion under Kaiser now faces a new threat on the eastern border, as well as a new California. Th the NCR to the west. Perhaps Kaisal should not have sent a man who only respects strength in the east. Oh, so they left. They literally just left. I don't know. I think I have to play as the Lannis again, maybe. Should I play as Lannis again? Let me know in the comments below. Just because this completely changed everything, too. What did they do in their focus tree to change stuff? You know what? Let's save and call it like Lannis to save. Just because I... I think I've seen that before, but... Uh, we'll see. I mean, we technically already were doing that already, but still. I'm just, ah, Nova Legion. Even though it's not good at fighting these guys, yeah. Uh, that won't be great for us. Yes, yeah, it's not going to be easy, is it? It's never going to be easy, is it? Never. But Naval Doctor's looking okay. Well, or I guess Naval stuff. Um, hmm. More support equipment, I guess. We do have 600. So just in case for these guys. Uh, Recon, maybe? I guess you might as well. Makes it just slightly stronger. 
Yeah, breakthrough, not much. Recon. Yeah, it's not gonna help with that much, honestly, at all. That's actually very weak. Yeah, it's actually extremely weak. Holy crap. Well, oh well. Pilgrim Trail. Cult of Diana. Just as the might of Lannis is revered by his cohort, Diana is revered by the twin mothers as a fair and just goddess, her unwavering guidance to the light in those dark times. Maybe. It would be for the best to try to connect our people's faith with that of Lannis's cohort. To doing so would surely give hope to this heckish wasteland and further help to assist our pact in this mission. Hopefully. Keep building. We're building pretty quickly, which is awesome. But yeah. Feed them more competition, no power. It's clear we're on the sun dogs, which is fine. Uh, we could probably end up going to... Bro, did you not... Did you go to war with them and not prepare... Prepare for war? Um... Oh, we cannot find anything here, can we? Ballot draft? Not worth it. Seed selection? Uh, give more output. The Gulf of Dan. And then do Leg Legends Early End. Oh. Lambda Refugees. Wow. Looking forward, huh? Cult of Diana. I love cults. As long as they follow me. And the Tabula Rasa. Full potential for coring dice. Power needs fulfilled. Suit from Bagan Era. La Garita. Sure, why not? 2276. Called of Diana. After that, uh, I'm not really sure what else to choose then. Vault 29? I, I guess. Holy Relic of the Twin Mothers Tribe, Vault 29 still contains a history of the pre war origins. Many secrets are hidden deep within its underground corridors, and still serving to this day at its core as a powerful silk computer, Zax 29. We should make sure to upgrade the vault's connection to Diana and the nursery to probably make use of its vast processing capabilities. Cool. Keep training. Um, uh, Sydney Prospectors, you might as well. I mean, oh, we're using the Denarius too, which is fine. Actually, I forgot. I completely forgot about this. This is not. I'd never remember to do this anymore. Uh, 56. Lone Star. That would be so good. 47 now? Is it still 47? Eh, it's alright. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good overall. Of course, we'd like more money, but, you know, whatever. How are we supposed to get simulation training? Do we just reset that normally or what? Yeah, okay, that's not very much. There's not much we can do about that. That sucks. Yeah, call the Diani. Die, Annie. Annie, die. <laughs> um, outposts, those are called Diana, though. Oral infrastructure, naval base. Not bad. I like just by Rogel Sands though quite a bit. Keep the navy. Honestly, if we can make anything, just do that one. I know it's in a way it would have been over twenty five hundred years ago. Uh the called Diana first spread out from Diana's mirror, south of the typical Alpine Mountains. There she echoed from much from the old deity Artemis and became a patroness of the countryside, hunters, road crossroads, and the moon. Among the Legion, we can now start this faith once again, taking on the face of Diana as Diana once did to Artemis, continuing her tradition unbroken for millennia. Yeah, there you go. We're going to do this again for some reason. Please go right ahead. But I guess the saying goes, when in Rome, right? Ah, we are now a cult. I love being a cult. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. A bit of drink. Religious companies are very, very nice. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2277. Hopefully, I don't go to war soon, but you never know. Um, we got a way to do a lot of this stuff then. Arizona Gaia. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, what does this say? Last straw, Acacia Moon and a group of followers of the Apocalypse have been among the Twin Mothers for nearly 20 years, yet our tribe's recent militarization has caused them to grow very weary of us. In protest, Acacia has taken her followers of the Apocalypse and left her lands heading back out west. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Brahmin DNA. Supply guess we can wait for that one. Um, a paintbrush for the waste. Sadly, it seems that the GAC manufacturing line has fallen into a state of disrepair. Some of its capabilities, such as adaptation enhancement matrix, could, however, be brought back online on each device with proper care. 
But unfortunately, the damage has been done, and this exact function will become utterly random. Now, I was not expecting this, that we rejected them. But, you know what? That's okay. It's alright. Hopefully we do okay when defending against other people, but you never know. Oh, actually, yeah, makeshift saws would be very good as well. Ooh, we actually have, we actually have enough... Oh, we actually have enough factories. Not bad. We actually make some planes, too. Twice in two lifetimes. If that's the case, make some of these bad boys. We got enough fuel cells, but not a lot of other things. So definitely help us out. Not bad. Refugees, um, 600. Nah, that's not, that's not worth caring about too much. Mr. Handy's because he can. I like it when they're really handy. All 29. Paint brush for the wastes. Game over for Robot City. Uh, this won't really matter too much. Robot City has been taken over by an invading force. The peaceful settlement of robots have been dispersed across the wastes. And Doki, the strange program that was leading the settlement, was actually such a small file size that every one of these migrant robots had a copy of the program and saw it into them. A group of robots from Robot City with a Doki program installed have made their way to their lands. They mean no harm, merely wanting to coexist and go about their artificial lives to limit uh, to the limits that their program allows. Let's give them another life in their lands. Threats from the wasteland. Game over. Continue. If you're going to put that, please go ahead. And threats from the wasteland, too. Oh. Oh, it's right there. Well, that sucks. And, oh, there's that one, too. Oh, we, we should have done one earlier to get that free political power boat. You know, whatever. Execute system wide robot protocols? Or robot refugees? Ooh. Which one should we do? Should we do execute system wide robots? Or should we do this one? Because we could, we need to do Mystery Caves eventually as well. Mystery Caves. Where's that one? Ah! Okay, so let me know. We can do either one. Doesn't matter to me. Computational power. Obege Doki Doki as a general? Oh, that's actually really cool. Talus Ruins? Oh. One of the more decisions that this unlocks will not appear in the decisions tab, but appear at the map when decision tab is open. Oh, we can build roads. I like that as well. There's so much I want to do. So, uh, you, do, you can do all that stuff. Prepare, 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 prepare for war and get another research slot as well. That seems like a pretty good thing to do. Coring dice. I mean, we're not coring anything yet. Command station, though. One computational power. More computational power. Oh, we definitely could use more computational power, though. Ooh, but even more down here, too. Oh, my goodness. Ah, power and production next, just because I want more power, so. Little by little, the factory comes out of its lumber. Auxiliary generators come back in line, and manufacturing's line roar to life once again. It'll take a lot more than what is currently powered to truly take advantage of this pre-war automated wonder, and we should study possible solutions to this post-haste. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Alright, anything else here we really care about? No. Um, I, I just don't, I want, we need more manpower. We don't need it immediately. We get plus 50% monthly population, I mean, which isn't honestly that much, really. But... Plus, 25% construction speed is just so strong. And yeah, we can use more manpower, but still, still, oh my goodness, it's so much. Military society, vehicle designers, motorized vehicles, armored personnel carriers. Um, if we're going to use them, we'll probably use this one, maybe? Why not? Major businesses, we'll wait for that one, too. Cultural advisors. Honestly, we'll probably just go with this guy. More war sports, nice. I mean, just having that war sport is just so good. Fields, very nice, very nice. Paint brush for the wastes. And power and production. More computation power? Yes, please. Because right now, we are at what? 23.5%, not enough, but... That'd be good. Vacuum tubes, good. There you go, too. And after that one, we can wait to do this. Some mass relay, grass and extender. We can wait for that stuff. The Mystery Caves. The Mystery Caves, a vast network of connected underground springs, is a sacred and feared place for the tribe, occupied by fierce fire ants, as beauty and fresh water is kept from them. We shall send our military robots to clear it uh, uh, of any danger and harvest their genetic strand for study, giving the twin mothers access to the caves. The battle will shoot Mojave no matter the outcome. Wow. And the old, of course, the old world wall holds. Um, you know, that's probably a good question to ask you guys now, so whenever I do Kaiser's Legion again, how do you win uh, for Hoover Dam as a Legion? How, how would you guys do it? Let me know in the comments below, just because whenever I play as Legion again, I definitely want to be able to take the wall as fast as possible, so. 
please let me know in the comments how to do that. Oh, yeah, and that person did leave. So, hello, hello, hello. That's not bad. We will need a new person here. Ooh, actually. That's something else we can spend our political power on while we're waiting. So, power and production is not bad. Mr. Caves, bitter drink, Talus ruins, good stuff. Oh, okay, this one either. Oh, we need more computation power. Matter is X29. Mr. Caves. Yes, please. And then, oh, basic tools, yes. A little bit ahead of time. I'm, I prefer more output. We're going to need it anyway, so. The matter is X29. Zax 29, the central computer in charge of Vault 29, is a powerful pre war mainframe that was tasked with taking care of its denizens, and then was transferred to serve as a link to the Twin Mother's tribe. Under Diana's guidance, the time is now coming to decide which will become of it. Good question. Very good question. And I suppose next up we could do Bitter Drink. A powerful healing liquid brewed by the tribe, the Bitter Drink is, as its name suggests, extremely bitter yet effective at caring for the body as well as the mind. Its soothing effect after ingestion is remarkable, and it suffers none of the cloudy effect that the healing powder has. We should make sure to encourage them to brew more and more of it to, of course, heal our people, which is very, very good. But I think I'll end it there. If you enjoyed today's episode, in which we came the Cult of Diana, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also probably enter some conflict with either the Legion, or maybe someone else. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.